Hey YouTube, how you guys doing today? Kevin here coming back at you with another video. Okay, so what you're looking at is the KDE 90. Okay, this is the bike that we've been working on, kind of putting together from parts and pieces from other bikes. Um, I have cleaned and installed the 1980s square body carburetor. Right there, there she is, sitting there. No leaks down bottom, nice and dry, not leaking out anything. Um, so that's all squared, okay? We got that part done. Then we have on the other side of the bike, we have the four magnet. There is no points in here. This is the CDI unit, right? I don't know if you can see it inside there or not. The CDI unit, you can look up top. There's no points in this thing at all. So we got that all situated and set up. So it's got CDI ignition. No more points, as I like them. We have a G3 um, 90cc cylinder. We have a 1980s KE100 um, carburetor. We have the CDI ignition, obviously, oil injection, yada, yada, yada. So we got to put the covers on, adjust the clutch, and do all that type of happy stuff. But um, I wanted to do a start on the bike first. So let's let's get into it. Let's see if we can start this thing. There is no way to kill this engine, so I have to pull the coil away because I don't have it wired up yet. So we, we still have a lot to do on this bike, but I wanted to get it up and going so you guys can hear it run. And I gotta fix the exhaust. So we have we're gonna be doing a whole video on basically fixing all the little problems with this bike. That's going to be coming up pretty soon because I do want to kind of wrap up the KDE and I want to ride it. So that's really where I'm at with it. So anyway, without further ado. There she sits, guys. Okay, that's how I shut it off. Uh, shut off, no air. So there she is, she's up and running, sounds excellent. Once again, we're gonna go over this one more time. This is the one with the expansion chamber that we made. So there's no baffles in there, okay? We gotta put the guard on it. We, gotta, we have a little leak up in the front, we gotta put the gasket up in there. The side cover, the shifter, um, like I said, the, the guard for the side. We got to do the cover for the side, adjust the clutch, check the oil and make sure it's adjusted. The air filter and um, I think I already said the exhaust, so that part's all squared. And then that's it for this bike. This bike will be done. So we're going to be doing a video on that coming up really, really soon. So as she uh, sits is as you see it and uh, there we are. So hopefully uh, that's pretty cool. Hopefully it inspires someone to build something unique like this. This bike is... Um, it's going to be very torquey. So we might throw a bigger jet in that carburetor. We're going to see how she runs with it. Um, because we have a modified exhaust. This is this is the part of this is the purpose of this video. There's so many things that have changed on this bike. Everything from cylinder bore, style of carburetor, to the exhaust system itself has been modified tremendously. Okay? So we have a lot of modifications on this bike. With a two-stroke engine, having so many variables can cause this thing to burn up over time. So we want to make sure that it's rich enough to be able to handle the, the air going in and coming out of it. So it doesn't cause it to burn up. So we want to make sure we get that done. So I am thrilled to death just to hear this thing run. So... I just wanted to share that with you guys. 
I mean, this thing has gone over. I mean, you guys have seen it. The plastics are in decent shape. Everything's in decent shape. You know, it's a beater bike. It is not the type of bike that I'm going to put lights on and change out the generator and register this thing and drive it on the road. No. This bike right here is built to have some fun, to go on trails, you know, with, with some of my friends, hang out with them. We could take the uh, the 80 in there. I got the KE, uh, the KD80. This is strictly off-road. Nothing more, nothing less. It doesn't have a speedometer. Don't care how fast I'm going. It doesn't have um, any lights or any indicators or anything like that. Don't care. I just want the simplest, most efficient bike that I could get. That's my style. It's quite unique to have that square style carburetor onto a uh, a bike that has you know cdi ignition and a 90 cc so it's really cool to see this all together like this um some upgrades that might be coming up i might consider doing a high compression head um and we are going to change out the back sprocket actually you know what forget that i'm leaving the low compression head i am going to change it though i'm going to put the uh, k um the kd head on there i like the fins better I think it'll look really cool on this bike, and because the KDE, we'll keep that. Uh, we'll put the uh, K um, the KD80 head on this bike. We're gonna change out that uh, rear, that tiny little rear sprocket there, uh, the 40 tooth. We're gonna put a 50 on this thing, make it nice and big, and uh, get this thing some some torque, be able to pull, you know. And then um, what do you call it there? I think that'll do it. I think that'll do it. So pretty neat to have a, a one-off bike like this you know i inspire you guys to get out there and uh, build these things just build them build them as much as you can all right well thank you guys for watching thank you for subscribing hit that bell icon and when i post a video you guys will get it thanks i'm out